What's going on, you guys? We're unboxing the Death of Superman Target exclusive Blu-ray Steelbook, the latest DC Universe animated movie. Um, a little behind on these. I just finished watching last night um, Suicide Squad Hell to Pay, the release uh, prior to this one. And that one was, uh, that was okay, but really, to me, for a long time, um, the DC Universe movies have been really mediocre, really disappointing, um, really the, the only ones that really mattered to me were, um, the last great one, in my opinion, was, uh, Batman, um, Batman vs. Robin, and before that, Justice League, Flashpoint Paradox. Those have been the only standout films they've released that actually were creative and were memorable at all. The others have just all been completely forgettable and uh, told really uninteresting stories, in my opinion. But um, I haven't heard anything about this one, actually. I've, I watched the preview for it from uh, from the last movie. And, um, honestly, it looks, uh, too busy. I guess it's, uh, it's a story of, uh, Superman fighting Doomsday, um, which was terrible, and whatever the, the last one was that they did, was it All-Star Superman, I think, um, or, well, no, Superman, Superman Doomsday, right? Um, just terrible, and I don't know, the Superman movies have never really worked for me. The more I got into all of these animated films, uh, the Superman characters become less and less uh, captivating to me. But um, what are you going to do? It's a DC Universe steelbook. Got to pick it up. Got to keep the collection going. And uh, going to give it a watch, of course. But can't say that I really have uh, high expectations for it. All right. Uh, special features, Death of Superman, The Brawl That Topped Them All, from the DC Comics Vault, two bonus cartoons, a sneak peek at DC Universe's next animated movie, Reign of the Superman, which is going to be uh, part two to this film. It's rated PG-13. Uh, runtime is 81 minutes. Got the technical specs for you guys who care about that. And let's open this guy up. And check the description for links to more unboxings. Just unbox the Batman, Batman Ninja Steelbook, um, Thor Ragnarok Blu-ray, and the Avengers Infinity War Steelbook. Oh, gloss finish, by the way which I love. I can't stand matte finish steel books. They just feel too too rough. This is a lot, you know, really smooth to the touch. Makes my fingers feel good. Um, and that's some uh, pretty cool back artwork. The fronts are lame. I won't uh, mince words there. I don't like that, but uh, back, not bad. All right, then we got our UV code inside. Looks like some uh, interesting internal artwork as well, but we have the Blu-ray disc with um, no color there and the uh, red version of the, the same artwork for the DVD disc. And then our internal artwork got some kind of, uh, is that Superman with an eagle on his forearm, a statue there, some kind of... Uh, fire there going on looks kind of interesting so um yeah i'll check this one out but again for me uh dcau's just been on such a downhill slide that um i don't really have uh, much hope for them going forward but uh leave your thoughts on this down below and uh thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next video bye